JT straight on look. Oh. Mensa knew where it was gonna go. First field goal for number 31. Oh. I think Nathan Mensa's path to the NBA can certainly be one that can be inspirational, uh, not only for, for guys in the United States trying to get into the NBA, but also internationally as well. You know, coming from a country that you know doesn't have a whole lot of history with basketball and producing NBA players, he can certainly be an inspiration there, uh, or, or in other countries that are in similar situations that you can defy the odds and you can get noticed and you can, you know, come to the United States and get a college scholarship and, and go play for an NBA team. So I think he can serve as an inspiration not only in Ghana but in many places around the world for, for, for young kids that are coming up and going to camps and things like that, uh, that they can see that it is possible no matter where you come from that you can get to the NBA if you put the work in, you sacrifice, you dedicate yourself, and uh, you take advantage of the opportunity that come along your way. Uh, sacrifice. Um, that's probably the number one word I would come up with is this kid has sacrificed a lot as far as even just family. Um, you know, he hasn't been home in 10 years. Um, you know, he's here on a mission, kind of um, here to just elevate his family and his people. And so, I mean, sacrifice is probably the first word I would think that comes to mind with that. And Nathan just happened to be, a, you know, an exceptional talent physically. And he's been blessed with some you know, God-given gifts that allowed him to be able to get to this level. But we did it to try to educate. And Nathan is a prime example of that. Like he's, you know, he's playing in the NBA, but um, you know, he's going after his master's degree coming up and graduating with his bachelor's. Um, so he's kind of, the epitome of what we're trying to do, but it's about education and kind of growing these kids mentally um, and um, being able to expand our continent um, with kids that are intelligent and can come back and can run companies and run businesses and be able to join, and just expand the continent overall, so. Uh, it's been great. Uh, I wouldn't say it was easy. Uh, of course, I went through the G League path, which was uh, a great experience for me, just becoming a professional straight out of college. So it kind of, it kind of like helped shape to the player I am today, and I'm continuing to work towards better and bigger things. Start on a team that made the national championship game last year at San Diego State, then to be undrafted and, and going through the draft process, and then to go to summer league and then training camp, and then the G League. I mean, he's and now finally to the NBA now. He's been on so many different stops over the last year, but uh, it's a testament to the player he is and the person he is that he has done something at every single one of those stops to get him to the next one. And I think that speaks a lot about his character and also his, his basketball trajectory as well. He kind of brings a spotlight to AYBO and for kids in Africa to show, you know, it's not just about sports or anything like that. Like, these are really smart, uh, intelligent, humble kids. And they just need opportunities. And that's all we try to do is provide those opportunities for them to go get uh, these educations. And Nathan is just one that excelled and, you know, kind of did that next level, which is awesome. Yeah, I feel very proud because uh, so many people look up to us. Uh, I feel like this is uh, a right step in the right direction for the next coming kids to also have a, a bigger picture if they dream to be a basketball player. So he's just a phenomenal kid and I couldn't be with a better organization. I'm so proud he got a, he got an opportunity because we were worried for a little bit, but I knew if he got in there he would, he would stick and he's done a, a great job. So I'm super proud of him and um, you know I tell him every day like, look, I don't care what happens out there, like you're here and I'm proud of you for just being here. and. Whatever you do to make it stick, you do what you got to do. But I believe, you know, he's one of those special, special kids that he's going to be around for a long time. So.